Uh, this is the decision tree, right? What happens? Do I go this way or do I go this way? So if I have food, uh, which way do I go, right? So if I have food, I go the long way. If I don't have food, so no food, I go the short way. So if we say that, that uh, 3 equals 4, the computer will figure out that that's not true. Does that make sense? So it'll say that this is false. This is, this is, this is not true. This is false. Is, is 7 equal to uh, 4 plus 3? Like, can you do arithmetic for me, computer? So it'll add those two numbers. It'll say, well, that's 7. 7 is equal to 7. So then it says, well, that's true. So, so it's very happy, happy to see that that's the result. But if you have an access card, let's, let's just make a very simple access card. So here's, here's my card, right? Let's just quickly give it a color. And so now it's an access card. And we'll just say, yep, this access card has this little outline thing here. And that gives it some validity. So this is a nice little access card. So we'll make it into a symbol called access card. And now I have an access card in my library. If I run this file, it's just a movie clip. If I add some code to it, we will need to name the access card that because that code by itself, it won't work because I haven't uh, applied the name to this card. Even though in the library it's called access card, my properties here needs to also give it an instance name of access card. And when we run that, now whenever we roll over it, it rotates. So on the mouse over, I might not want to rotate, but I might want to highlight. So if I highlight this thing, I'm going to rename the function to highlight. And what we need to do then is every single time I roll over it, the card gets you know, to the scale of 1.1. Now, if I wanted to go back to its normal scale, unhighlight, which basically will turn the scale back to zero. Or, well, it'll turn it back to what it was if I roll back off it. So I need to change this to mouse out. So on mouse over, on mouse out, on mouse over, on mouse out, on mouse over, on mouse out. Grab the image, put it in here a little bit down so we can make sure that's locked. Scale the image down to fill the space. Put this on a separate layer. And now I've got my card there. So if I move my card and I just scale it down and I put it here. So now a player walks into your habitat, they go, oh, that's interesting, what is that? It's an access card. And then what you need to do is you need to have a bit more code. So you need another one of these. So to remove it, we'll say, remove child from the display access card so if we click on it it's gone we can basically have another copy of the card this is access card inventory this one here initially will have its alpha set to zero so it's invisible line one here is we change that we say access inventory alpha equals one so if we click it it's now there now we've got our card in our inventory so imagine this is a hotspot to continue so if you click on that yellow square you can continue to the next room so we'll call this a button and this will be the next room button so as long as I have a next room button again we have to do all of this stuff for it Watch that and then in here we have to say if access card inventory dot alpha equals and this is weird we're going to put two equal signs equals equals one then that means we've got the card which means and i'm just going to do a trace statement you win right otherwise trace sorry you don't have access to this area and that's an if statement and so if we if I click on the yellow square the text message says sorry you don't have access to this area every single time I click it if I click on the card and now I have my card in my inventory and then I click on this it goes you win it's a very easy game very easy game
All you have to do in this game is figure out that to go there, you need to pick up that. And that might be too big. It might be jumping out too big. It might be too obvious that that's a button. So we might, we might say, actually, I just want you to be 0 0.4. And I'll do 0 0.4 here, sorry, 0 0.2 there. So that's only gonna get twice as big. Can you see that? So now if I click it, it's there. Now if I click that, I win. Any questions? So you have you've got the yep. output um, in the text box. Is there a way to make it so the like the font comes up saying like it's like, say um, in the so game? Yeah, like you'd a have and, you, like, yeah, but you'd have to make a text box. Let's do this. Make it dynamic text. Click. Now it stays, right? So there's my text box. I can get my text to be white. I can give it a, a output message box. Give it some kind of name. No text, so I can see how big it is. That's right, so if that's too big a text, you can go down to something like that. And down here where I've got you win, rather than tracing, you say output message box dot, dot text equals you win, without the bracket there. Fonts should be embedded for dynamic text boxes, otherwise it doesn't have it. So what we need to do here is click embed. And now you've got an embedded font. So now if I click on this, it says sorry you don't have, gets cut off. Paragraph, single line, I can change that to multi-line. So now my message will be, sorry you don't have access to this area. I'm excited, right? If we're getting excited, then when I click on my access card, I can say, you just found the red access card. Awesome. And then when I click on this, sorry you don't have access to this area, click on the access card, you just found the red access card, awesome. And then I click on this, you win. Let's just make it 550, that's the width of our thing. Make that into red area. Red area. We have to do some magic with the uh, positioning of all of this stuff. So distribute to layers. Good. So what we've got now is red area. Perfect. Alpha. Zero. Can't see the red area. And I can say red area dot alpha equals one. So let's have a look. No text. Sorry, you don't have access. Click on that. You found the red access card. Awesome. Click on that. Now we're in the red area.